What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, and today we have a very interesting episode. So, today we'll learn how to spin up our own Postgres instance on Linux, basically Ubuntu, and then uh, enable the geometry libraries for ArcGIS on that instance, and then we're gonna create an enterprise geo database. So, I went ahead and created a VM on my Mac here. So, I have my existing IGM3 Windows 8.1 VM. And now, here I have another VM, which is Ubuntu 16.4 Xenial. So, on this, um, this instance, I didn't install anything. It's just a fresh install. I simply installed the open SSH which allowed me to connect to this instance from a Windows machine that's very important I'm gonna list the steps that we need to configure the Postgres I'll do there are a lot of prerequisites to uh, getting started with this so I'm gonna list all these prerequisites just to, for the sake to make this video uh, shorter are we recording yes all right so this is a new instance. There's no there is no Postgres and still Postgres and nothing, right? So let's go here. This is my Windows machine, and I in that I have 1041 installed. So if you go to program files and then ArcGIS desktop, and then you went to the database support folder, the database you want to configure is Postgres, you'll see that the latest supported Postgres instance is 9.4 for 10.4 so you will have to install Postgres 9.4 or earlier for it to work right so for that you will have 9.4 you'll have two binaries Linux that's what we're interested in and we're gonna have to copy this file to the Ubuntu machine we're gonna learn about all that right so we go back to our Ubuntu machine here, and in the Postgres, the Postgres repository now currently have up to nine six. I think they are nine six. So if you do just sudo apt git and install Postgres, you're gonna get nine six. So we don't want that, right? So we want to install nine four. So there are less some few line of code that you have to write and, and configure in this machine I'm gonna link it below in order for you to be able to install a earlier versions so I went ahead and did that so and I do sudo apt get install SQL Postgres SQL 9.4 you will be prompted to install that version and you just click yes so I'm gonna speed through this All right, Postgres completed. It was real quick, actually. I didn't have to stop it. But once you have it ready, the next step is to set the password for the Postgres user so you can basically access it. So to do that, you do Postgres, I mean, sudo dash u Postgres, and then that's the default user. Then you do psql. You will be prompted with the Postgres uh, command prompt. And to do that, you just alter user Postgres password. Let's just call the new password Postgres, just for simplicity. We just did that. Now we are ready to connect to this database. But before we do that, let's quit there and we'll do one extra step here, which is very important for us to copy the ST geometry to the lib directory. If you if you notice, we did that in the Windows version, I'm gonna link it up here. So we did a, another Postgres installation for Windows, and to do that, we have to do the same thing here. So it's a little bit trickier to copy that file to here. So we need to gain some permission to this directory. So user lib Postgres SQL 94 lib. Just give it full permission. Oh, did I say CMD? I meant to say sudo. And that's it. Now you have full permission on that folder. 
what we do next is we go to our so just another thing I want to mention is my host name here is PG I just called the machine PG and the user is IG this time is IG I'm true let's go to our windows so in our windows machine here I want to copy this Linux stgeometry.so to that instance. So I already wrote a line script. To do that, you will need to install a party, some software, which is basically a very, very excellent tool. And uh, this tool allows you to copy stuff and connect from Windows to Linux. It's really, really useful. I really recommend it. I'm going to put the link to that below. All right. So that's the command, right? So I want to copy PSCP ST geometry to this machine called PG as the user IG. So IG at PG and then this location which we just gave permission to. Once you double click that, you'll give a warning basically. You just say yes. And then you give the password for IG. And then done. So we we did most of the steps that allow us to uh, configure Postgres, but there are one. Well, there is one step that we didn't do yet, right? So that Postgres instance is isolated in another machine, and by default, when you install Postgres, it you can only connect to that instance from the same machine, which is lame, right? So you we need to do one more step to allow other machines like this one, Windows, to connect to this one. So to do that, we will have to basically, to do that, let's clear this. And in, in order to achieve that, we will have to add two pieces of a configuration. And these are located in etc, um, Postgres, 94, main, when you go that, uh, we edit the file postgresql1s.conf as the editor for Ubuntu. Once you get it there, we search for listen addresses and see it's commented out. We want that for simplicity, you can specify which IP address for security, but who cares, right? This is a VM. I don't care. Everybody can connect, right? So let's let 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 us let everybody connect. That's the first step. The second step is the same location. We edit the pghba.conf. If you remember, we did the same exact steps, right? In uh, in Windows, you have to do this. It's just Postgres, right? You scroll all the way down and you basically write these down. Host, all, 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 MD5. Right? Host, tap, 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 MD5. That's it. Host, tap, all, tap, all, tap, all, MD5. So allow everybody to connect it. Right? It's an open house. You can connect. You can connect. Everybody can connect. Opera. All right. Should we do this? Okay, let's just reboot this machine for fun. Um, yeah, let's reboot it. All right, I'm using VirtualBox, really cool tool. All right, now once we reboot it, make sure we can ping, ping PG. All right, we can ping it, it's up. All right. Should we try this? All right, so I have Postgres installed on this machine as well as a client. So I'm going to use that to verify that I actually can connect to that instance. So I'm going to create a new instance, a new connection, PG, PG. Let's call it Ubuntu. My Postgres Ubuntu PG. And then you do post this you say okay save oh all right so after we try to connect to our postgres instance we got this error which says password authentication failed and 
We got this because we didn't really set the password. We think we did, but actually we didn't. So when we did sudo dash u postgres psql, and then we got the postgres prompt, remember? So we did alter user postgres password, and then we did postgres, but we forgot to actually add the semicolon, right? Oh, add a, add a typo here user there you go so it says alter role now after that I changed my password I should be able to connect let's give it a whirl okay and then we hit that and there you go we just connected to the database instance how about that so we connected to the Postgres instance from Windows. Now, can we actually create an enterprise view database? That's the question. All right, so we're gonna start ArcMap, go through the process, remember, you guys know it, create enterprise view database, you point to the license file, you specify your Postgres server, and all these stuff, right? Search. I'm a searcher. Create enterprise view database. Now we click that GP tool. Now that we have we connected successfully, I think we can do it. So in the PG, my database is my PG Ubuntu, whatever I can call anything. That's my username, Postgres. We set it this time, SDE, license, we pick that license up, and processing, and okay. Oop, oop, oop. It's progressing, and now it's trying to create the spatial type configuration. For this, you need the ST geometry file we copied, and once we have it, it's trying, it's using the one that is on the Ubuntu instance. Looking good, looking good. Creating table. Yes, we finally did it. How about that? So now I want to connect to, I have a, a Postgres instance here previously and on this machine. Now I'm going to connect on PG as SDE. Why not? Once you do this, that's my database. Now you can do all kind of fun stuff. What? I didn't do that. What's that? Now you can just create a feature class. Just like any other database. The beauty of geodatabases. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a good day.